Hello and welcome to the first episode of my new experiment, the DeFi stablecoin experiment, where we're going to put in $1,000 into each of these platforms to find out which one provides you with the best return on your investment. In the last experiment, we were looking at various different cryptocurrencies and staking them. However, in this experiment, it will differ because we're going to be using stable coins only. And stable coins don't fluctuate in terms of monetary value in comparison to cryptocurrency. So a stable coin is just a cryptocurrency that is pegged to fiat, a real life currency, hence the word stable within the name. The technology behind all of these stable coins work very differently. I would suggest you read up a bit more if you want to uh, understand how each of these cryptocurrencies actually work. There's various different stable coins available, the most popular being US dollar, but there's also GBP, euros, and even gold, and a lot more different stable coins available. So in this DeFi stable coin experiment, there are going to be some rules that we're going to set. So $1,000 in each of these DeFi platforms, and we're only going to be using decentralized platforms only. So no platforms with KYC or registration, they are not DeFi platforms, they are centralized platforms. We're only going to be looking at decentralized platforms only. And the beauty of decentralized platforms is that anyone could use it. You don't need to go to a bank with your passport and start opening accounts or anything. All you need is just some cryptocurrency and that's the wonders of cryptocurrency and decentralization and i will aim to update you over the course of a year with weekly or fortnightly updates depending on how busy i am and the goal of this whole experiment is to find out which DeFi platform gives you the most interest over the duration of the entire experiment and with these decentralized products, there will be network fees. So these fees will be included and deducted from the overall profits from the entire experiment. So there's various methods on how these interest rates work in DeFi. The most common being is borrowing and lending. So you lend out some capital, someone else borrows it and has to pay an interest and you receive a part of that interest. You almost become like a bank, basically. You are lending out money and someone else is paying you the interest on top of that. The other method is something called a liquidity pool where you provide two sets of capital and someone comes in and they want to swap between these two types of capital. They make the swap and you receive a fee for it. So that's how you generate that interest on top. Now, of course, these are extremely simplistic explanations on how the technology works behind these platforms. And if you want to find out more, I suggest you go to the platform site and read up about it if you want to understand how exactly the technology works behind it. And you can always check sites like DeFiRate.com to find out interest rates on certain platforms, as you can see here. And as you can see, 33% for if you lend out DAI onto full Chrome at the moment. However, these are all variable rates, so they're never the same and they fluctuate quite a lot every day. So one day it could be 33% the next day it could be 3%. So another reason to why we're doing this experiment is just to get an average over all the platforms so we can judge which platform is the best to stake your stable coins on. And of course, there's always risks in cryptocurrency and sending your cryptocurrency to these platforms also pose that same risk of losing everything. The risks could just be the bugs or the immaturity of the DeFi platforms themselves. The whole DeFi space is relatively quite new, so not everything has been tested fully. And in the past, there have been hacks on these DeFi platforms where everyone has basically lost their money when they've deposited their stable coins on these platforms. So make sure you can only put in what you can afford to lose. But most of the risk is actually offset via the higher interest rates that you receive in comparison to a bank. So no risk, no reward. So these are the platforms we'll be using for this experiment. We're going to be using a mixture of Ethereum and other networks as well, such as Binance Smart Chain. We're also going to be having a look at Polygon also known as Matic. Now, the reason why we're using other networks is because Ethereum at the moment, the gas fees are extremely high. It it will probably cost around $100 to have one interaction. So that's minus 
hundred dollars of your profit already whereas all of these other new platforms and protocols they actually have much lower gas fees at just a few cents so a total of eight thousand dollars i'm placing into this experiment so it'll be interesting to see over the course of the year what the average return is for each of these platforms so here we have a fresh MetaMask wallet and we have some ETH ready for the fees to supply and also we have the DAI in this wallet as well. So I just want to show you that the fees on the Ethereum network right now are just very congested and the gas fees are incredibly high at the moment. So in order to supply our DAI we need to enable the smart contract so we need to go into DAI and then here we can enable the smart contract and as you can see the transaction fee just to enable the smart contract is $12.80 which is extremely high at the moment so it may take around 15 minutes to enable this transaction but I will fast forward this and then we can see what the next transaction fee will be. So that took around 20 minutes to enable that smart contract and now we're ready to supply our die. So I'm going to input uh, 1005 die into the supply. And the reason being is because die is actually slightly off a dollar sometimes and we, we need to be as close as a thousand dollars as possible. And as you can see the fee, the gas fee and the total amount is $61.80 which is absolutely insane in terms of price but let's for the sake of this experiment we're going to confirm it anyway so let's click on this and you can always check your gas fee with gas now to make sure it's in line with the current prices of gas fees and 63 is actually about right at the moment so this is the correct amount that we should be processing in there so we're just going to save that and then we're going to confirm. So again, this will take around 20 minutes for us to supply that die and I'll fast forward and show you the update. So as you can see, um, the die has been supplied and it's earning now earning a rate of 5.44%. Uh, and of course this is variable and you can see it in real time as well, the, your supply balance and it going up. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do USDC coin. So I've already enabled the supply rate of this, so all we have to do is just add another $1,000 uh, of USDC, and then we get a better rate with this, actually. It's 8.28% uh, per year. So uh, to enable this, the cost was around $16, and I wonder how much it's gonna cost to supply, around $60, and we're gonna confirm this. Uh, because technically $60 is actually kind of low for today's standards, unbelievably. Um, if we were doing this around a year ago, it would be only a few dollars. Um, but because of Ethereum at the moment, it's been, um, it's been absolutely crazy, uh, especially with the network fees. So again, congested, high network fees. Uh, but there are other protocols to use. So... We're just gonna wait and the transaction is now pending for this. So I'm just gonna fast forward. So now we're going to have a look at Aave network and we're going to be on, this time we're going to be on a Polygon network, main net from your MetaMask. And in this wallet, we have Matic available for our fees that we're gonna to spend to interact with the smart contracts. And we have DAI available to actually do some swapping and also to place into the network as well. So first of all, we're gonna just place in some deposit, some die into Aave. So we need to connect and we just need to select MetaMask, which it's already done so here. And we need to select the Polygon network because that's what we're using currently. So now we can deposit 1000 die. And if we just put in 1000 here, can do this and uh, look at the fees there's only 0 0.001 matic which is really nice less than a cent and super fast as well so that's already approved and now we're going to deposit so what's the cost for that so the cost is 0 0.001 matic 
that's absolutely fine and that's it we've done much faster um, and we can view our deposit uh, is already said you've already deposited 1000 die next we're going to have a look at uh, US DC coin so I'm going to do a quick swap and then we're going to place that in there as well so I supplied all the stable coins onto the DeFi networks as I didn't want to show you all of them on video because it would just take too long but as you can see Aave and anything to do with the Polygon Matic network you have extremely extremely low fees they're actually less than one cent at the moment and if we go all the way down to the bottom where we're using the Ethereum network you can see on compound we're getting a total fee of around 73 74 dollars in total which is a, it's almost taking around 10 percent of your actual deposit which doesn't make sense to me but this is all for an experiment so we're just going to test out anyway and as you can see in the mid tier we can see binance smart chain with just a under three dollars for each of the transactions which is quite good also this it's definitely reasonable in comparison to ethereum's network and we also have terra which is a, a new DeFi protocol and the supply fee for that was one dollar and 68 which is also quite reasonable and uh, yep yeah, so there you go anything on the polygon matic network is gonna give you the best fees and then on anything on the Ethereum network at the moment, it's going to give you the worst fees and lower your profits. So it's been five days and let's check our earnings for today. So in the compound Ethereum network, uh, we can see that uh, we supplied 1005 and we've actually gained around four dollars worth um, in terms of dollar rate and then for usdc coin we've earned around 70 cents for that not too great but uh it's because we've had a huge crash in the crypto market today so that may have affected all the uh interest that's going on so here's our ave as you can see with dia we've earned around nine dollars around here which is quite good and with usdc we've earned around five dollars here now i could only supply 999 for some reason to the network and uh that's what it is but uh still pretty good with the five dollar rate and then uh we've also got the bonus reward here as well which is uh 0 0.55 and i'll split this at the end uh so we could see uh, the total that we received and here we are on the anchor protocol which is on the Terra network and as you can see we've earned around two dollars on this and it states that we are getting around 18.1 percent uh, which is pretty good and uh, as you can see you've got these uh, tabs of navigation where you can just click on to see how much you'd earn per month per week and per day so per day you'd expected to earn just under 50 cents for this protocol if it's consistent then i think this may be the best interest rate but we'll have to find out so now we're on auto farm network which is on the binance smart chain and we've got a couple of pools here that we provided liquidity to and if we go into each one uh you can see that we've deposited a thousand dollars uh so 500 worth of busd and then 500 worth of usdt and you can see actually we've done pretty well so we've got ten dollars and 64 here and uh it's stating an apy of 18.21 percent which is reasonably quite high as well but with this we also get auto rewards as well so 60 cents for absolutely free which is really cool and we'll add that to the bonus next we'll have a look at our other pool which is busd to ust and we've only done 61 cents on this which isn't too good um, but apparently it claims that we're getting around 17.86 percent on this but we did earn uh, 52 cents in terms of extra rewards as well. So reasonable. 
And last but not least, we're on mstable.org and we're on the Matic Polygon Network. And as you can see, the balance is 1,267, which is uh, about right in terms of the APY that is shown here. So it's saying 14.69%. Uh, uh, but because this is variable, um, only a few days ago, this was around 21%. So that's how it changes very suddenly. But uh, we're going to do some calculations now and then find out which one provides the best return. So here's our returns after five days. I've created this simple table for everyone to follow. So number one, we have Aave, the platform on the Matic Polygon network and we're providing DAI as the stable coin with the capital of $1,000 and the total fee was less than one cent at 0 0.00329. The current interest rate at the time was 2.73, but that is variable. And the current value is $1,010.68 over five days. And the profit is $10.68 that we made. And we're looking at a daily average profit of around $2.14. There was a bonus as well of Matic that we received. So if we remember, if we stake DAI on the Aave platform on the Matic network, we also gain an extra bonus of Matic as well. So we received around 51 cents of that. So if we take our total and then minus all the fees, we get $10.68 as our total profit. And if we add on our fees, we get an absolute total of $11.19. And I'd say that's pretty good for just five days of interest. And then number two, we have Auto Farm, which is on the Binance Smart Chain with the liquidity pool that we're providing of BUSD to USD. A total capital of $1,000, so 500 worth of BUSD and then 500 worth of USD. And the total fees for this was a bit higher because we have to swap. There's a few swap fees on Pancake Network and there's a few enabling fees as well. So total fees is $2.84 for this one. And the interest rate at the current time is 18.21%, which is quite high. And the value, including the profits that we made is $1,010.64. And Profit we made is basically $10.64 with a daily average profit of around $2.13. Plus we also get the auto as an extra bonus as well, which at the time was around $0.52. Cents. Now the bonus is actually variable, so this could always go up and go down as well. So if we minus the fees, we get $7.80 cents that's our total profit for auto farm and then if we add on the bonus it's eight dollars and 32 which is quite good for this one now if we go along the bottom we've made some losses so some losses in auto farm again on the binance smart chain we've got another pool which is busd to ust the total fees for that was two dollars and seventy and we only made 61 cents in profit for this. So therefore, if we minus our fees, we actually made a loss of around $2.09. But we did make a slight bonus of 52 cents for this one. So we actually made a total loss of around $1.57 for this. And then the last two on the Ethereum network, because the Ethereum network fees are so high, we had to pay around $60.00. $70, sorry. And I wouldn't recommend supplying any of your stable coins on these platforms at the moment unless you are looking at a larger amount, such as I'd say about $100,000, $50,000 to $100,000. And then your fees would obviously make more sense in that case. But for $1,000, it's doesn't make any sense at all. You, it's going to take you, I think it's going to take over a year to see a return of around $70, to be honest. So that's it for today's episode. We'll be back next week so you can check the progress of this experiment and you can also check out the profits as well. So please give us a subscribe and like if you liked this video and I'll see you next week. Stay safe. Bye-bye.